Morin salsa is a painful peripheral ulcerative keratitis of little known etiology. An aggressive Morin salsa can further be a challenge to any treating corneal surgeon because of the rapidity with which the integrity of the globe may be compromised. A 62 year old male presented in a peripheral center with complaints of redness and watering both eyes. A peripheral desmetocele with scarring was noted in both eyes with right eye being the worse eye. As an emergency procedure, conjunctival resection with tissue adhesive and bandage contact lens was done for the right eye. The patient was started on high dose systemic and topical steroids and referred to the main center in Delhi. On post-operative day 2, the right eye was stable but the left eye had worsened and developed a large desmetocele, a patch graft with conjunctival resection planned for the left eye. Anterior chamber formed. A therapeutic grade tissue taken. Necrotic margins of the ulcer freshened. Conjunctival resection done. Lamellar freehand graft dissected and sutured. The graft was well opposed. So it was a bilateral aggressive murins and two bolus dose of IV cyclophosphamide at 24 hour interval given and a patch graft planned for the right eye also. Size of desmetocele measured. Therapeutic grade tissue taken and a banana shaped lamellar graft prepared. Sutured to the recipient cornea and the graft was well opposed. After three months, the patient's cornea stabilized with high dose steroids, but now the patient needed to be visually rehabilitated as right eye showed cataract with hazy cornea. The right eye cornea revealed Desmet's detachment, which was confirmed on anterior segmentosity. This was then treated with air desmetopexy and the cornea became compact due to Desmet's reattachment, which was confirmed on anterior segment OCT. The left eye showed mature cataract with inferior thinning. It was taken up for cataract extraction and penetrating keratoplasty under high dose intravenous steroids after physician's clearance. As the inferior area was extremely thin, the section was made inferiorly and cataractus lens was delivered from inferior section. After the cataract extraction had been completed, the host cornea was sutured back to maintain the integrity of the globe. A stay suture was passed through the donor cornea and the host bed after which the host cornea was excised in parts and the suturing completed. Thus both eyes could be visually rehabilitated. The patient was continued on systemic and topical steroid. The learning for this patient came from another 65 year old male who had presented with a large desmetocele superiorly. Blood investigations were all normal and a diagnosis of Murin's ulcer was made. A patch graft with conjunctival resection was planned for this eye. Therapeutic grade tissue taken and Desmet's membrane removed from the donor tissue. A lamellar graft fashioned and grafted. So management of Murin's ulcer is always a challenge. Timely detection and early intervention is the key to successfully treat aggressive Murin's ulcer. Patch graft is a good option for tectonic support when needed, which may eventually pave way for successful visual rehabilitation. 
immunosuppression remains an important adjuvant and treatment is hand in hand with the physician but what is most important is the need for a long term close follow up of the patient thank you